of your conversation with uh, Matt Craft and uh, what was that about? My conversation went like this. Calm down. Calm down. Matt, please calm down. <laughs> we'll talk later. Um, he was angry. What he was angry about was um, going into turn two. It was like two to go. Uh, he broke early. Yeah, I guess he was just riding. I broke late because I'm, I'm still on a charge from the rear. And I got to about side by side with him in the braking zone and I don't think he knew I was there. He started coming down to apex it. And as I was checking up more and more, trying to, like, he's coming into me, so I'm trying to check up. And as that was happening, his his tail hit my nose. It got him a little loose. No damage to the truck. Nothing would happen. Um, but I got past him right there, and I guess he was just really mad about it. So I don't know if he was just frustrated from other stuff in the race. I'm sure there was something else there in the race going on. And I, I'm just a familiar face to vent to. So uh, it's is what it is. Um, I raced with Matt for a long time now, and that's just part of it. So um, you know, more unfortunate though was what happened between myself and Ty Majeski. Um, you know, I think him and I both probably feel the same way, although I haven't talk to him uh there was a couple laps before that I, I gave him that spot uh going into five as i had a nose there gave it gave it to him and then once i had the run i thought we were going to exchange just you know teammates just exchanging positions and uh he was still there he thought he gave me enough room i thought i thought i gave him enough room as we were exchanging and it just didn't work out so it's a racing deal but unfortunate not good for thor sport racing in the sense right because we both had trucks that should have been in the top five and should have been racing for the win so i feel terrible about that I don't know whose fault it is, but I'll just take the blame if that's what it takes. Uh, what will the conversation be like on Monday at the worst of at least the three of you? Um, I think the conversation goes something like, hey, it's not good. We may, we messed up. It's tight racing, and ultimately, let's just be smarter about it next time. You know, neither one of us did anything on purpose to each other. It'd be different if there was something malicious there, or we could say that we were firmly driving way over our heads, but it's kind of a racing deal, and it's a really tight course in Ohio. I think we just got to be smarter about the big picture and realize that, hey, you know, uh, I got a playoff point today. I, I had... Um, uh, or a playoff point and we've got a stage win or a race win so I'm in the playoffs I probably should have gave him more room just being a better teammate so you know I know what I got to do to be better there um, but that also needs to be a conversation on the other side we all have to work together better but that's always on the forefront of every team especially for sport it's a very family dynamic here and um, one of the best teams and then one last question what does it mean for you and the rest of the team to be racing in essentially your home track. Yeah, we gave the fans here, the local fans, a show, didn't we? Um, <laughs> I wish we had either number one, more rain, or more laps. Uh, certainly more rain would have been a benefit for me. Uh, I needed a lot of rain too. As the track started transitioning to dry, I noticed everybody else started getting close to my bumper and that wasn't no good. So uh, I wish the rainstorm lasted longer. Maybe that would have made the farmers happy and myself happy.